like I uh, I didn't uh, word what I was trying to say in that last video well enough, but but <clears throat> let's say that nothing is a stable constant. No, 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 nothing nothing is not a stable concept because it's still something. And so acknowledging that nothing, I, I know I've been repetitive and repeating this, but this is really important. This is going to be on the test. Um, nothing is inherently a stable, no, it's not inherently stable, it's inherently frustrating. It's very hard to put into words what's happening here. But I think that the grab, the, the, the thing that becomes a sun, if nothing's trying to stay still, your hand's trying to stay still, every time it moves, energy disperses. That's energy. And that energy exists in contrast to nothing creates resistance of matter and so a little bit of energy just for a second like let's say i moved for a second here and that little bit of energy is suddenly pushed in by everything else as it pushes out everything and so it all makes the shape of a ball which is then compressed by that continued motion of pushing back and forth until it develops into a star now i've simplified it very far but this is inherently the process that I think is occurring. Um, and I, I also have come across a logic that justifies the creation of solid matter. But I have to, I have to think about how to work that.